Sky News can reveal the chair of Parliament's powerful bipartisan joint committee on intelligence and security issued Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill with a please explain notice last week over what appears to be a bungled terrorist relisting process by her department. Live to our political reporter Olivia Kaisley now who has this exclusive story. Olivia, an administrative error is being blamed on why for why Ms O'Neill wasn't as hands-on this time around, as I understand it? That's right, Laura. So last month I revealed that when the government moved to relist three dangerous terrorist organisations, that being Islamic State, Islamic State West Africa and also Boko Haram, it appears that uh, the Home Affairs Minister did not have as much involvement in the process and that's because a no letter of endorsement was provided. This was pretty unusual because in previous relisting rounds she had provided this uh, all-important stamp of approval. Now the reason why the government has this relisting process in the first place uh, is because it helps with criminal prosecutions and it's also a bit of a deterrent for the community that if you provide donations or become a member of one of these groups, it is a criminal offence. Now, we've learnt that Peter Khalil, he's the chair of Parliament's all-important Intelligence and Security Joint Committee, he's been sufficiently concerned uh, over the apparent reduction in Ms O'Neill's input that he wrote to her last week asking to basically find out what had gone on. I'll take you to his letter now. So he's written uh, last week, unlike the process documents provided for previous reviews, the process for the 2023 relistings did not specify that the Minister for Home Affairs wrote to the Attorney General endorsing the relisting of these organisations. In this graphic you can see on screen now he asks why the process had appeared to change, whether she did in fact endorse the relisting of the organisations and whether she had written to the Attorney General but it just hadn't been recorded. He received a response from the Counter-Terrorism Coordination's First Secretary Chris Field on Monday and he's admitted that there's been a departmental bungle. There was an administrative error relating to the process for the relisting of ISIS, ISWAP and Boko Haram as terrorist organisations under the Criminal Code. As a result of this error, the Minister for Home Affairs did not write to the Attorney General. This error had no impact on the legality of the Attorney General's consideration of the legal threshold under the Criminal Code this matter has been addressed and the process for listing and relisting of terrorist organisations has not changed. Shadow Home Affairs Minister James Patterson has labelled this issue an embarrassing stuff up. This is a shocking admission of incompetence from the Minister for Home Affairs. It appears that the Minister just forgot to fulfil her responsibility as part of the very serious and important terrorism listing process. Really, this is just not good enough, but it's no surprise given the machinery of government changes that the Albanese government made after the election, which effectively dismantled the portfolio of home affairs. Senior government sources say machinery of government changes has led to tension between the two ministers over their different responsibilities, Laura. Mm, very interesting. Liv, thanks so much.